The ocean is sinking. Oceans are being consumed by the earth as dead supercontinent is found. This is by Sebastian Ketley on Express UK. The oceans are slowly being swallowed up by the earth's mantle and the disintegration of an ancient supercontinent had a role to play. This is what scientists are explaining. This is what they believe is happening. The oceans are in a perpetual state of flux, water flowing in and out of the Earth's mantle. The process known as the deep water cycle sees water slip under the planet's tectonic plates only to come out later through underwater volcanoes and vents. The geysers, for example, in Yellowstone, or the lava that we saw flowing almost as fast as a river last year in the Kilauea eruption, it was flowing about 18 miles an hour. So, it's coming out through underwater volcanoes and vents. About 70% of the Earth's surface is covered by in water, and 97% of that water, more than 332,519,000 cubic miles is found in the oceans. But the deep water process appears to be swallowing up more water than it is releasing back to the surface. That's the problem. There's not an equilibrium. And if some scientific estimates are to be believed, there could be about three to four oceans worth of water that are trapped underneath our mantle. The shocking revelation was presented by a team of geologists from Norway in the journal Geochemistry, Geophysics and Geosystems. And the researchers found historical evidence of sea level fluctuations by more than 656 feet. That's 200 meters. And it's about uh, 70 story build, uh, 70 story building alongside so-called supercontinental cycles every 300 to 500 million years. Supercontinental cycles. These drastic shifts in oceanic heights were determined by the volume of the ocean because the ocean itself was determined by the movements of the continents. And one event in particular may have contributed to a significant flux in the deep water cycle, the breakup of the Pangaea supercontinent. Pangaea or Pangaea existed as one monstrous landmass about 335 million years ago before it broke into individual continents about 175 million years ago. The dead supercontinent existed throughout the late Paleozoic era and into the Mesozoic era. When Pangaea broke up, the deep water cycle likely swallowed up to 430 feet worth of water from the world's oceans. Can you imagine? Kristen Carlson, a geologist from the University of Oslo, told Life Science the breakup of Pangaea was associated with it at a time of very rapid tectonic plate subduction. This led to a period of large water transport into the earth, causing associated sea levels to drop. The breakup of Pangaea first gave birth to the North Atlantic Ocean, and then the North America Plate and the Eurasian Plate separated. The event forced a rapid subduction of water under the Earth's mantle around 230 million years ago. The researchers wrote in their study, quote, our models suggest that a sea level drop of up to 130 meters is possible over this period and that it was caused by the 150 uh, MA rift pulse that opened the Atlantic and forced rapid subduction of old oceanic lithosphere. This indicates that deep water cycling may be one of the more important sea level changes, mechanisms on supercontinental timescales and provides a more complete picture of the dy dynamic interplay between tectonics and sea level changes. Yet despite the deep water cycle, scientists believe the world's oceans are undergoing a spike in height, brought about primarily by the warmth of the ocean waters and the melting of the polarized caps. 
According to the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, the rise is happening at an increased rate. Dr. Carlson said, while the deep water cycle can effectively change sea level over hundreds of millions to billions of years, climate change can change the sea level in zero to 100 years. For comparison, the present day sea level rise associated with climate change is about 0.1 inches or 3.2 millimeters per year. The sea level drop associated with the deep water cycle is about 1 in 10,000 of that. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.